Hello again, this is Gabriel from TruePixel and today I'm going to show you how to model this nice simple bowl of cereal or fruit in Cinema 4D. To create this nice bowl we are just going to use a sphere that we can create from here. We're taking a simple sphere that we are going to add more segments to, let's say 40. And also in this attribute manager, we are going to choose the type of the sphere, a hemisphere from this drop down menu. Then we are going to rotate our bowl facing up 180 degrees and make it editable from this button here. Now, we want to add some thickness to the bowl. To do that, we are taking the face selection and we are going to make a control A to select all the polygons, right click and extrude. Before we make the extrude, we are going to make sure that this create caps checkbox is checked. Then just click and drag the mouse to the thickness you want. Now let's add a rounding for the edge here. How do we do that? We must go to the line selection, then go here in the menu and choose loop selection. Now we can choose which line we want to work with. So we will choose this. We selected, it turned the orange. Hold shift and select the inner one. Now to make it round, we are going to right click while the lines are selected and choose bevel. Hold your mouse and drag. Now you can see it has a nice rounding on the edge. You can adjust the rounding by choosing the subdivisions here. Another thing we want to do is to put the ball on the floor. But since the bottom is rounded, we need to flatten it a little bit. So we'll go under it. I'll hide the floor for now. Again, choose the face selection. Choose the round life selection tool. And select the bottom polygons. If you want more, just click sh uh, hold shift and also select another row. Now you can just select scale and flatten them for a straight surface. Let's put the floor back and put our ball on the floor. There you go. Let me show you now how to create a nice glossy material for this ball. We create a new material, double click it. We choose a base color for the ball, let's say an orange one. Then we go to the reflectance channel and we add a reflection legacy option. We can see that it made a fully reflectable material, but we don't want this. So then we will just choose from the attenuation tab, the additive option. 
This means it will add the layer of reflectance to our base color. Since this is also too much, you can adjust these bars here. Let's say a 20% reflection and a 12% roughness. So it won't be that glossy, but it will still look natural. Close this. Let's apply the color to the ball and render it. So we have a nice easy ball for cereal or fruit in Cinema 4D. If you think the reflection is too high, just adjust the material and make it look the way you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you follow my other videos and tutorials to see what's up.